This is Twit. Hey, what's up? I'm Jason Howell, and I am here with the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 8.0. Kind of weird that they have the two names there, but basically it's the Series 3 of the Galaxy Tab. This is the 8 inch screen version. And you can kind of tell if you're a Samsung fan at all, it looks a lot like the Galaxy S4. Basically, you know, their design language is very, very close to uh, each other, be it the phones as well as the tablets, they all look very similar. So if you're a fan of that style, you're probably gonna like this uh, device. Dual core 1.5 gigahertz Exynos 4 processor inside uh, with 1.5 gigs of RAM. It has that eight inch LCD screen that I told you about. It's 1280 by 800 resolution. So it's not necessarily a full 1080p display. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, 16 gigs of internal storage on this device, although there is a 32 gig model. Uh, micro SD card slot if you need even more than that. There's a five megapixel rear facing camera on the back and then a front megapixel, uh, front facing camera of 1.3 megapixels, a 4450 milliamp hour battery inside that is non-removable. This case does not come off. Uh, it also has an IR blaster that you can see right there. So if you want to use it with your stereo or your home theater system, you can. This device is running 4.2.2 Jelly Bean, and it should be noted that there is no NFC on this device. So if that's a, a deal breaker for you, you're not gonna find it here. Uh, we'll start with the design. I mean, as I said, it looks a lot like the Galaxy S4, just like a bigger version of it, obviously. Uh, it has the plastic design, but thankfully, and I'm not the hugest fan of, of plastic when it comes to the design of tablets and phones, but it feels pretty sturdy, pretty solid, uh, considering you don't get a lot of like those creaks when you, when you bend the device or anything like that. Often, my complaint with a tablet is that the edges are so sharp that it digs right into the palm of your hands and it becomes really uncomfortable over time. So the rounded corners are definitely appreciated. You have a little bit of the kind of faux chrome uh, outlinings on the sides, as well as the stylings around the camera, which kind of give it a nice little pop. Still a menu button, uh, a capacitive menu button on the device. Samsung has clung hard to the menu button, even though Google has pretty much said with Android, I think it was uh, Jelly Bean uh, initially, that the menu button's going away. And now onto performance, which is where the tablet kind of starts to fall apart a little bit. Dual core processor, which some people would say, hey, you know, that's, that's gonna be sufficient for most needs. But I kind of saw it like in the responsiveness, you can see the notification pull down. Sometimes it would take me two to three times to get it to register uh, a touch uh, in doing that. Other times it would pull down fine. It just really, you never know what you're gonna get. Browsing the web, uh, was okay, but again, when you're scrolling through a big web page, there's just a little bit of extra jitteriness when you're scrolling through, and you, you detect it more and more over time. Playing games, I played Dead Trigger 2, Riptide GP2, Real Racing 3, and overall, they were, they were pretty enjoyable, but again, just little you know, jittering and uh, stuttering throughout the gameplay that would crop up here and there that would just kind of pull you out of the experience. Uh, the camera is almost not even really worth talking about and cameras on tablets rarely ever amount to much, but on here you get what I would expect, you know, pretty washed out photos unless you're in excellent punchy light. It's probably best uh, suited for video conferencing. Battery, I, what more can I say? Solid performance, the battery didn't really run out on me, although I did notice that standby time, if I left it in my bag uh, for a little while, you know, wouldn't last more than a couple of days. Standby time actually seemed to not be that great. And then of course, there's the software, which is Samsung's TouchWiz UI. Uh, certainly has its fans. I wouldn't necessarily say that I'm the hugest fan of TouchWiz, but I really gave it a shot here a multi-window mode that allows you to pull up two different uh, pages side by side, that was really handy. Smart Stay, which actually uses these sensors to track your eyes, and if your eyes are staring at the screen and it knows it, it'll keep the screen on. Doesn't matter what your screen time at timeout settings are. There is no gesture support on here though, like there is on the S4, so keep that in mind. And I just have to go ahead and go on the record and say the Samsung built-in keyboard is horrible. I Man, I, I you get more wrong than you ever get right with the Samsung keyboard. But uh, overall, you know, TouchWiz brings a certain level of extra features to their devices, to Samsung devices. And if that's something that you're looking for, a little bit extra on the software side, then TouchWiz is excellent for that. All right, now let's take a look at the pros of the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 8.0. First, there's the display, which like I said, it's a 720 display, but it's perfectly sufficient and a very nice display uh, considering that. Uh, some software features that are included with TouchWiz are actually very handy and useful, so that gives you a little bit of extra usefulness out of your tablet purchase. 
Uh, on the con side, I would definitely say performance and responsiveness were an issue throughout the user experience, and uh, I definitely noticed it more the, the more I used the tablet. And then price compared to the competition. You know, the, the uh, iPad mini is only, you know, maybe 20 or 30 bucks more than the Galaxy Tab 3 8.0. The Nexus 7 is better spec in some ways, and it's definitely a lot less than this tablet is, so price is definitely an issue here. Having said all that, it's not that this tablet is necessarily bad in any real way, but it's also not really great in any real way either. I don't walk away from this review thinking that there's one particular thing that this tablet is especially good at. And you, you know, if you're gonna recommend it to people to buy, you want at least some reason to recommend them to do so. If you're a big uh, fan of Samsung, touch whiz, their hardware aesthetic, you're probably gonna like this device. For everyone else, there are much better options out there in this eight, seven to eight inch form factor for tablets uh, at possibly a lesser price than the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 8.0. I'm Jason Howell, and you can check out all of my reviews on all about Android at twit.tv slash AAA. Thanks for watching my review.